G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a, a Zeus Vivo book, F1500 EA BQ2432W. This one's got an 11th gen i5 in it, and currently got 8 gig of RAM and a 256 gig SSD. I do want to see if that can be upgraded to something larger. Now, this screw at the back here was larger than the screw I just took out nearest to the front. And we got same length screw, those three are the same. Mm. Yep, yeah, that's the same. And what have we got here? That one's going to be the same, and these three across the front and might be smaller again. So far, yes. Put that off to the side now. Now I'll see if I can pry this up. Uh, start in the corner, like here. And this lift. No, uh, we have to start more at the front, I believe. Down and up. start to crack along here. Come on. There we go. Bingo. Now, what do we see? One dusty fan. So I'm going to fix that problem first. Now to begin with, I'm going to want to disconnect the battery over here, which is sadly a very tiny battery considering the size of this laptop. It does have the option to have a 2.5 inch drive over here. And I'm assuming we'll connect up to here. Right now my LED is still blinking, which means there's still power. So that'll be an absolutely terrible time to disconnect the RAM. I'll zoom in here and push this silver tab towards the back. And then lift up. Got one disconnected battery. We do have one Wi-Fi card here. Weirdly, we've only got one antenna cable, which is going under, or going to here. So changing that, you will only have one antenna. Going over here to the RAM. Now, I'm not sure if we have what stick this may be. Weirdly, we've got this double-sided tape holding it in there. Come on. Okay. Pull this up and back. We have a single 4 gig stick of DDR4, 3200 megahertz. So I'm wanting to change that over to an 8 gig. At the moment, I believe it's already got 4 gig on the other side of here that isn't removable. So we can only replace a single stick of RAM, which would be this one right here. Don't mind me just fumbling off camera. What have we got? 4 gig, 8 gig, suspected faulty, 4, 4, 8, which I believe is out of a Mac. Here we go, that's what I'm looking for. 8 gig of Nanya. Nanya business. What have we got? There, there, there. Oh, I'll be going a single stick of one of these. In reinstall, it's pretty straightforward. This little notch here. We have to line it up in the middle and pull down. We'll go in on a slight angle and go down like this. Push it in. That's as far as it will go in, pull down, that's installed. I do find it crazy the amount of copper that's actually on here. I mean, this fan is blowing from here to here before it actually makes contact and then hitting there. So it's very, very passively cooled almost. Push this down here, pull this towards me. That's the battery now almost reconnected. Reconnected. And looking up here, 
we have a 256 gig NVMe SSD. We leave there's that bit of tape there, I don't know why that's there. There's already a screw there and a lot of rattles. If I undo this screw, it lifts up like so, pulls out, has a single notch here, and then it should be a matter of lining it back up, almost have it parallel, push it across, and that's in. If you do upgrade your NVMe drive, you will have to either reinstall Windows onto the new SSD, or you will have to, uh, or you'll have to clone from the old drive to the new. Also, while I've got it open, it's always worth checking the screws and the hinges, as I used to, usually like to wiggle loose and cause dramas because they end up losing a screw, losing strength, and then they tend to destroy themselves which I've seen on this model before. RAM installed, NVMe installed, battery back connected. Don't know what's going on over here. It looks a bit funky. I can meet my brush. Now looking a little bit better. Now I should be right to hook this over the back. Better clean that too. A little bit grimy. May have gotten damp in a bag or something to that effect. Something spilled on the table. And that should be able to hook over here. Push down. Push down, 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 down. There we go. Next up, large screws go across the back, medium sized screw across, across the middle, small, the four small screws go at the very front. I'm going to give this a boot up just to make sure that ram is happy and healthy and we'll check that out in just a sec. So hit the power button. I have a light over here, one light. Not much going on on the screen just yet. May take a little bit longer than expected. Bingo. A Zeus. It's either booting up with 12 gig or 4 gig. We'll find out in just a moment. This one's just had a stock reinstall of Windows onto the drive. I was hoping we can go to 16, but it looks like we could either go to 12 or to 36. Might be able to put a 32 gig stick of RAM in there. Granted, you're probably really not going to utilize that amount of RAM, as this is not overly a gaming machine, so the gaming performance will not be great. Memory is at 42%. Click on here, go here. Yep, we've got 11.7 gig over here. Both RAM slots are used. There we go, usage up here. So that one there. Is going to utilize that 12 gig of RAM. This is right to be shut down. I'll put those screws in it and this one will be done. Give it a clean up, finish installing drivers and we should be pretty all right. Zip it over this way. I might as well say sayonara, see you later. But I'm going to continue putting these screws in and have a good day. Bye.